First and foremost, my apologies to Steve at Xenon Depot. I know we've been waiting for this video for, uh, for a little bit of time now. They've been installed for about a week. Uh, last weekend I was able to, or last week I was able to get them installed and get everything working. Um, Steve sent me an H11 kit for the low beam and I believe it's 9005 or 9006 for the high beams um, for the Forerunner to try out. And I got them installed. I have all this footage uh, between installing these, um, talking about them and that, and my Baja Designs lights that I put in. And the, um, for whatever reason, I cannot find my SD card to save my life. I probably have like two or three hours of film on there uh, between a couple different things that I've got going on, and it's missing. So this video is going to be consolidated a lot more um, because I'm not going to go through the install too heavily. But these are the Extreme Pro LED lights. Um, this is how they'll come in this box. And inside right now I have my HIDs that I took out. I left the ballast in here. I'm going to carry these with me just in case I don't like them over time or whatever. I can swap them back out real easily. But inside here, you will get two of these. They'll be nicely packaged inside here. And inside this little box down here, you'll get two of these LED drivers. Uh, one of the things that I loved about my HIDs was the color temperature, which is 5,000 Kelvin. These are rated at 5,000 Kelvin as well. Um, like I said, I've had them in the truck for about a week now. I haven't had too much night driving although I came all the way from the south side of Denver um, back here to where I live at in northern Colorado. It's about an hour and a half of night driving between the low beams and the Baja Designs. It's just perfect. And the Baja Designs uh, fog light kit that I put in is also rated at 5,000 Kelvin. So these are rated at 5,000. Those are rated at 5,000. And it's just awesome. On the back side, you have these little fans that you're supposed to fan out. And these are your completely customizable heat sink. So depending on your application, so like on the Forerunner, inside of the low beam housing, there's not a whole lot of room, but you can finagle these way in there and then everything's sealed. And I'll show you in a minute on the inside of mine on this side because it's a lot easier to see, but it's sealed. I've got the same grommet um, that the HIDs have. So for swapping these out, it was just a matter of unplugging the bulb unscrewing it, taking the old one out, and putting the new one in. Uh, with the high beams, it's the same thing. I just unplug the bulb and I'll plug these back in. Um, on the driver, you have a couple different uh, things here. So how this works too is, so for the, uh, for the H11s, all this will be inside your dust cover. So this will plug into your uh, factory harness. And then on the outside, you just plug the driver in to the factory harness. So this is just an extension to get the factory harness from the inside of the housing inside the dust cover to the outside. And then just literally turn them on and that's as easy as it is. It's really that simple as changing a light bulb and plugging things in. It's not too difficult. Um, on the, the high beams there is no dust cover or anything like that to worry about so I just plug it straight into the driver and then this wire is not needed at all. Um, so far, I love them. They're, the thing about uh, HIDs versus LEDs is, is this right here. Uh, a halogen bulb gets you 360 degrees of coverage. Uh, HID will do the same thing. The LEDs tend to have a problem of hitting all the reflector and everything. Um, and then they just don't get the distance down the road versus an HID. Um, I had Pia uh, LEDs in this, and I have a video that I will I'll put the link in the description below to go to that video, the driving video of uh, the Pia LEDs um, with a different brand fog light, um, uh, HID fog light, and then I'll put the link below, I'll put all the links of the driving videos from the Forerunner because it's I guess it's easiest to compare them back to back to back to show you the different, uh, the different comparisons. Um, I had Pia in here. I had the 4300 Kelvin uh, Xenon Depot HID kit and I loved it. I just wanted a little bit more white so I went and I upgraded the bulbs to the 5000K bulbs and I think that's perfect and that's what I have been running um, up until this big lighting upgrade. Um, 
and I've got a trip coming up next week um, that's going to be close to 2,000 miles and um, lighting is kind of big especially when you have to depend on it for something like that. So to plug these in, you simply just go back down in underneath to your factory harness or your factory uh, uh, spot and plug it in. Plug your driver in to your LED and there are little notches, it's not going to show up on the video, but there's a little arrow on this one and there's a little arrow on these so you line them up and that's where they go. It's got a silicone uh, housing to help keep water out and then it screw, has a screw cover that goes over the silicone housing to keep moisture out of everything. And then from there, I just plug the driver straight into the high beams and then I'll tuck this back away when I'm done with the video. Um, but let me uh, show you, demonstrate and turn them off. So before I turn high beams on, I want to go ahead and show you what these look like inside of the housing. As you can see, they're nice and vertical inside of there. They're going to hit all of the light spots you want to get. And that's the same on the driver's side as well. And as you see, the low beam is on. And the Baja Designs fog lights. So let's go ahead and turn the high beams on. Now it's hard to see in the video because it is nighttime, or it's daytime, I'm sorry, but it is instantly on and it's instantly pure white. It's the perfect color temperature and they do a very good job of throwing light down the road, especially for being LEDs. I'm very, very pleased so far, very, very happy. Um, I'm carrying the HID bulbs uh, for the low beams just in case, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna keep these in this truck and, uh, and the wife's not going to get them for hers. So I'm going to put the link in the description below for both where I got both of these from at Xenon Depot. Um, send them some love. Go ahead and pick these up for your 4Runner or your Prius or whatever that you have that uh, you can change these bulbs out. And I uh, appreciate you watching. Like always, if you like the video, click the subscribe button. Click that like button. Leave a comment and question below. Thank you.